Stanley took the first open door on his left. What if I don't take the door on the left? What if I just go in here? Stanley was so bad at following directions <laughs> that he knows what it means to take a story seriously. I'm taking it seriously. I said it. Am I having an out of body experience? And now we're back in the f same room, dude. What is this? Am I going insane? What could it mean? I'm still trying to work that out. Alrighty guys, so back in the mid 2010s, the Stanley Parable was a huge game that YouTubers would play. And you know what? Despite doing YouTube back then, I never touched this game. And recently the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe came out and I thought this is the perfect time to play this game. I don't know much about it. I know there's a bit of mind f***ery and I'm excited to play it. So um, let's just do it. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Oh. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Mm -hmm. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Sounds like my current job. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. That is and although perpetual hell. Considered it soul -rending, Stanley. Stanley was happy. How are you not depressed? How How is he not depressed? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Ooh. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his oh. office. Oh, you, you, want, you want me to step out the office? Hello, is anyone here? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Hmm. Seems that they're all out to lunch. This is literally the back rooms. What the f***? <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Is this a test? What if I go through the door on the right? You know what? I'm going to go through the door on the right. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. That's exactly what I was thinking. The, the narrator is way ahead of me. Oh, there we go. <sighs> yes, truly a room worth admiring. Stanley Bro. simply stood here, drinking it all in. This literally looks like a Gmod room. Like, <laughs> we're going to play prop hub. Stanley took the first open door on his left. What if I don't take the door on the left? What if I just go in here? Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. That's definitely something that happened to me. Warning, do not jump from cargo lift. It will cause death. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Oh god, I'm at the start. <laughs> What kind of loop is this? Fine, I'll do what I'm told. Is that what you want, narrator? He entered the door on his left. Fine, I guess you're in charge of my life, narrator. Tips for Yet not getting there was fired. Not a single person here either. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Ah. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. This is the office? Jesus Christ. It's a bit, bit over the top, isn't it? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible oh. truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. Oh, he's just... Just gonna tell me? Two, eight, four, five. All right, well, I guess he's just gonna tell me. You know what? This reminds me of that episode of SpongeBob when everyone leaves town for an anti SpongeBob day and no one tells him and he's just confused. National No SpongeBob Day? Yeah! A whole day dedicated to getting away from you. I feel like that. I feel like I'm SpongeBob. Two, eight, four, five. Yet, incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on oh. the keypad, oh. Stanley happened to oh. input the correct code. By sheer luck. Yes, and I wasn't losing. told. I he wasn't stepped told. into the newly opened passageway. Oh, uh, I think my boss, he might have laundered money. I'm not sure. D -d -d definitely something a little sus about this. Oh, we, we, got, a, we got a secret elevator as well. Oh, boy. <laughs> Hello. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Could be wrong, but I think it has something to do with Mind Control. Just going out on a whim here. I think that might be right. Do I just, do I, do I press it? 
The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What in the Cerebro? Bro, this is gonna drive me insane. I can already now tell. the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee uh, in the building. Stanley's co-workers. This is Squid Games for office workers. Where freedom meant nothing. Literal Squid Game, dude. How much have I pressed this? This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Oh, this is getting real mind No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? I mean, I'm controlling him, right? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Uh -huh. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. How dare they tell me when to wait? Dismantle the controls once and for all. Oh, they want me to dismantle it. Well, it says all the mind control shits offline. So did it did it turn off and everyone left? I'm just I'm confused. Why is this all unmanned? And why is there big numbers on these? Am I missing something? Mind controls idle, awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty. His obligation to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Ah, uh, turn it off. I wonder what happens if I pressed on. Was it over? I imagine not. It's been 15 minutes. Yes. He had won. Is that it? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way right now that things were meant to happen and stanley was happy i wonder what that's like <laughs> i beat the game what the end is never the end is never is this a game that we keep playing until we solve it like we're stuck in a loop all of his co-workers were gone what could it mean hmm this game's got some three going on here he entered the door on his left. All uh, right, why don't we go left door, but then we don't go up the stairs. We go down the stairs. What happens then? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Nope, we're going down. We're going down. F you, narrator. Stanley is his own man. He do what he want. Listening to you is following instructions. That's my control. Maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. No. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Wait, hold For up. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked Are down? we in a loop? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Dude. Were they simply repeating? I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Um, oh, what a I'm losing it, bro. To have finally found an answer, an explanation. What the fuck? He wasn't crazy after all. I know, dude. I've seen the same room over and over. He imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Oh, what? Oh. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. What the fuck? It was so much fun. And Stanley marveled that he had still not woken what up. What the f**k? How was he remaining so lucid? And then Am I lucid the dreaming? the strangest question of them all. Is this a Juice World song? Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Right? This is breaking the fourth wall. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. This is some cult talk, Stanley. I am Okay. We're still in the same spot, Stanley. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake <laughs> me up. My name is Stanley. Oh no. I have a boss, I have an office. Is that being an real. existential Please, crisis? Just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Stanley is going through it, that's for sure. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. 
But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the Is that Stanley? Who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself. God and damn it, Stanley. On the sidewalk. Seeing this man made her feel better. Oh yes, yeah, seeing a corpse would make me feel better. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. How lovely. And then she turned and ran. It's so nice and lovely of her. Thank you so much for telling- Call the cops, getting an ambulance. I'm just perfect. And now we're back in the f same room, dude. What is this? Am I going insane? What could it mean? I'm still trying to work that out. All right, this. I'm going against the narrator. The narrator, my theory is the mind control. Don't listen to the narrator. When Stanley came to a going, set going of for the right, going through the right one. not the correct way to the meeting room. Nope. And Stanley knew it perfectly And I don't well. care. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. Fuck you. All right. I'm not going to listen to this sign. I'm just going to let it Look, take Stanley, me across I think slowly. We've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. Ah, yes, narrator. Uh huh. Investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten. About. Is that a threat? Have you got Please, my family? Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. He's got my family hostage. I can do it. Oh God. Why is it dark in there? He's got my family, doesn't he? <laughs> the narrator's taken my family hostage. Hello? That's her, Stanley. Huh? You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. What if I don't, narrator? What are you gonna do then, huh? You can take her? You can take her from me? Do it! As Stanley picked up the phone, a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for I unplugged it. What do you mean? One... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yep. No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Big brain. Damn Let right. Big brain. Check. Oh, the, the narrator's no. freaking out. It's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. Nope, not He's doing it. To his not doing where it. He finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Nope, Music not comes doing in, it. Not doing it. Ah. You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. How far this you is know why this? you've been <laughs> able to make correct and incorrect choices, and to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. What? Please observe this helpful instructional oh, video. Oh, he's making me watch a an instructional Choice. video. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. If you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially in significant and the feeling should subside this is making me feel awful about myself ah welcome back you may have noticed that this room oh. has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction i didn't but mod this i haven't even ruined this game with mods i'm just i'm ruining it by giving the in the raider an existential crisis oh everything's oh. sinking it's ruined. You, I can't believe after everything we talked <laughs> about that you, my story, you've destroyed my work. Oh, why? It, For what? I can't erase that knowledge. Oh no! Don't I'll restart it. it forever. Reliving it's impossible. No, no, no! Don't restart. Don't restart. Don't restart. Don't restart. Don't restart. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. Oh my God! Is he gonna exit I the game? To. He's not gonna exit the game, is he? Oh, 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 oh. Hello? What the f oh, I'm here. Oh. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. That's what I do for a living, dude. I ruin everything with mods. That's my thing. We have to change people's expectations. You behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. He entered the door on his left. I don't know my left and right. No! Why did you do that? 
quickly. Hurry back. Is behave exactly as standing. Oh my god, he just straight away takes you back. Always putting the story Man first. is playing God. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. He entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Oh, bro, he's literally forcing me back now. Is I don't exactly think I can actually standing. go against him. I think I actually have to go left now. All right, fine, I'll listen to you. Does that make you happy, narrator? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Bro, they literally, I can't even go downstairs like I did before. Like he's literally like put a barrier up. What the f Man is forcing me on a linear path. Hmm, how can I disobey the narrator again? This is already different. What the Standing inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Okay. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Night Shark 155. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. I said Night it! Shark one one five he spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall night shark one one five no night shark one five five i'm sorry is there a problem you didn't mishear me did you i i Please said it speak the code into the receiver oh, Jesus otherwise we can't Christ. get on with the story I'm this is a crucial step saying it night shark one five five okay fine you're not gonna do it but you know what it's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. I'm taking it seriously. You I said it. The hell you what? Wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You when Stanley came to a set oh. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Am I having an out-of-body experience? Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Oh. Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk the through end? the door. The end? The end? to me? What do you mean, the end? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? What? Why is it rolling credits? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. What? What it the? Can't f exist without you. Do you understand me? Do something. Oh, he sounds so time. desperate. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. Uh, yep, best. sure. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. <laughs> he sounds so Take sad. As time as you need. Oh my god, we're back at the start. Ah, oh, for f sake. Oh. <laughs> Alrighty, well, I think we've done enough in this video. I'm actually really enjoying this. I would actually like to do another video on this. I imagine there is a bunch of more endings and really weird shit. We've only seen a few just in this one video. So guys, if you want to see another video on this, make sure you drop a comment below. Leave me suggestions for endings you want me to try without obviously spoiling it. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you around. Peace. Fuck, bitch.